hello viewers welcome back to my youtube channel uh in today's video we'll be talking about uh it's going to be something like an introduction to ip cameras okay so if you have not watched my episodes my series on analog camera please try and watch it out it will help you a lot so like i said today's video will be more of introduction of uh, ip cameras okay now it is called ip camera or ipc so most times you see ipc most times you see IP camera, some people put network cameras, okay? Now, IP camera means, uh, when you see IPC, it means uh, internet protocol camera, all right? And IP there means internet protocol. So it means that there's a protocol at which these cameras operate on. So internet protocol in IP cameras, uh, that is the IP there means uh, internet protocol and this internet protocol that is ip means uh it's just like a set of rule by which data is being transferred via the internet or local area network okay uh, or let's say a set of rule by which our communication is being occurred something like uh email communication that is smpt then uh, ftp for file transfer then we have for web http and stuff like that so we'll be talking more on these uh, protocols when we start dealing with networking but for you to be very good in ip cameras you need to know uh you need to really know more what these uh internet protocols means okay now in the terms of the camera the ip the protocol which these cameras use is the ip addresses okay now every ip camera has a protocol which is called an IP address and this IP address are like an identity to identify those devices that is the cameras on a network okay now we have different types of camera we have different types of IP camera we have like the bullets we have like uh, the eyeball camera we have camera for industries we have um, uh, we have wireless camera we have a uh, spy cameras ip cameras okay we have like uh, a ptz ip camera we have to you know there are different types of ip camera now i advise people for you to venture into uh installation of ip camera you should know at least a basis of networking okay now if you are good or if you know a basis of networking ip camera won't be that difficult for you to install okay so unlike the analog camera that is just a kind of plug and play, IP cameras has uh, more advanced features than analog camera. Now, every IP cameras, depending on the technology, has their different IP addresses, okay? Now, if you buy a particular technology, like now I'm going to be showing you guys today a uh, different technology. In fact, specifically, I'll be showing you guys more of the our product, okay? Now, the our product has their default ip address okay like that is internet protocol they use now other technology has their own ip address so it's advisable for you to know the default ip address of every technology you want to install all right now talking about network devices for you to uh for you to excel more in installation of ip cameras you should be familiar with something like a router, something like an access point, you know, switches, so that you can manipulate uh, your installation and it's more, it will be more flexible for you. Now, IP camera are more flexible than analog camera that we've talked about before. Why did I say so? There are diff many kind of uh, manipulations you can do with IP camera, which cannot be executed on analog camera, okay? IP camera are standalone, like you can log into your IP camera directly without using any machine like the DVR or MVR, okay? So they are more flexible and uh, even though it's quite expensive, but it's more reliable compared to analog camera. So I'll be introducing some IP cameras to you and I'll be uh, introducing the device you can use to encode your IP camera and other things you need to know about it so like i said today's video is just more of introduction 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 okay first of all i have some cameras here uh 
this an example. I have one camera here, which is Tiok. It's an IP camera. So let me just use it to show you guys some of the features IP camera have. Okay, remember, unlike the analog camera, IP camera uses what is called an Ethernet cable. That is E T H E N E T Ethernet cable, something like this. Okay. So this is what we use for IP cameras, unlike the analog camera that uses RJ, RJ uh, 58 or 59, depending on which one you are using. Okay. Now, these are some of the ports that IP camera have. Now, it has a separate power uh, port, and also this particular port here consists of both the transmission feed, the receiving feed, and also the power feeds, okay? So in this Ethernet cable, we have eight cables here. All of them has their different functions. I will be explaining their functions, their color code, and everything you, know, you need to know about this cable in the crimping video, maybe in our next video, okay? So after you crimp this, it is being slotted here to power on both the camera and to send feed from your NVR, uh, from the camera to your NVR, okay? Now, this particular camera is a different camera, which I'm going to do a separate video for it, but I just want to show you some of the feature it has. Now, this one has uh, both an audio in and audio out, and also have an alarm port for alarm connections, all right? So this is one type of IP camera that we have. It is called the TIO camera, okay? There are many features this camera have, which I'm going to do the video and explain it in a separate video so i have another type of ip camera which is the ranger okay i've done a video on this it's on my youtube but this is a wireless kind of ip camera so it uses uh it also uses ip address as its own uh, way of identification so i've done a video on this you should try and watch it and see how the configuration is being done and how it is being functional Okay, I also have a, another type of uh, IP camera here. This is also a wireless kind of IP camera. It has an Ethernet port and also, may yeah, I call it a kind of robotic kind of IP cameras, okay? Now, most of these guys, either you configure them using their own app or you configure them using an NVR, okay? Now, I also have another type. This is a bulb type of IP camera, all right? So you just insert it and I also have a video on how to configure this kind of camera so you can check it out. And also, this is spy camera where it looks like a clock, okay? It has a camera somewhere here. Don't worry, when you get your own, you see it, but it's just somewhere <laughs> here. So it's also a spy camera that looks like a clock. Also, it's an IP camera. It has its own internet uh, protocol, IP address for its identification. All right. Now, I also have another one here, which is one of my favorite IP camera. I love this camera very well. It's the PTZ SMD camera. I have a different video on this, so you check it out and see the configuration and some of the future this IP camera has. All right, now, IP cameras are being connected directly to an nvr okay unlike analog uh, analog cameras analog cameras is what is called a dvr digital video recorder why ip cameras are being connected directly to a an nvr which is a network video recorder okay <clears throat> this is an example of an nvr this is an example of an nvr but this nvr is a wireless kind of nvr okay other NVRs, maybe like the Dawa type, I don't have one here, but I'm just going to show, explain with this. NVR has this kind of port. This is this called an Ethernet port or a network port. Okay, NVR has these ports, depending on how many channels you have, okay? If you have like eight channel, you have the port up to eight, okay? And with an extra one, which is the uplink, all right? If it's four ports, you have this port, four, one, two, three, four, if it's uh, 16, you have it up to 16 and 
that's how it's go depending on how many ports you buy okay now nvr also has uh, what is called the vga output okay this is the vga output to connect to a screen or maybe your your monitor all right it also has an hdmi output to be connected to your screen or monitor and also the usb port for your mouse or maybe you want to extract uh, a footage from the dvr so you use this uh, uh, usb ports then the ethernet uh, port for either uplink or for the input of your camera feeds and last but not the least is the power port okay this way you plug in your power adapter to power on the nvr okay uh ip cameras also you know uh in terms of uh connections like analog camera if you watch my videos you see the analog camera is just like a I usually call it plug and play because after you do all your wirings, uh, crimping, just connect it to the camera, to the camera, and slot it to the DVR port, and it will just pick up. Okay, uh, it's not done that way in in IP cameras. Okay, IP cameras has some configurations to be done before it can display on your screen. Okay, now remember I said that uh, these IP cameras are example of a network device. And for you to be very good in the installation of IP camera, you should be familiar with network devices, okay? At least no basics of uh, networking, which I'm going to still do a video on that, all right? Now, IP, uh, each uh, technology, like the DAOA I have here, Peak Vision and uh, other technologies, they have their tools that you can use to uh, configure your IP camera before it can display on your screen, okay? Like the DAOA has a, 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 a DAOA toolkit, uh, Peak Vision has their own and other technology has their own. So whenever you get an IP camera of a particular technology, all their IP addresses are the same. And in networking, there's something called an IP conflict. If I plug all my IP cameras straight to the DVR, it will have something called an IP conflict. So it's advisable whenever you have an ip camera you configure them to suit uh the same network and also give them different ip addresses on the same network so that they cannot have something called the ip conflict okay like the dawa ip uh address uh default ip address is 192.168.1.108 other technology has their own default ip address so whenever i get a new IP camera or a new device to install, network device, try and know their default IP address. Now, for you to be able to configure an IP camera, you need the IP address. Like I said, for the DAWA or for any other technology, DAWA 192.168.1.108, now you need to reconfigure it and change it from that default to something on the same network. Depend, okay, let me just say, it depends on which network you want to use. If you want to change it totally from the 191.68.1.108, you can do that. You can give it a class A, class B, or class C IP address. It doesn't matter. It will still work fine. But why I advise you change, or why it is necessary for you to change the default IP address is to avoid what is called an IP conflict, okay? Now, you can either use uh, the DAWA toolkit to configure the DAWA camera or you can uh, initialize it using the NVR. So in a situation where you don't have an NVR, you can use a switch and use the config tool of DAWA to configure your cameras, all right? Now, remember, you mustn't use, uh, you mustn't use NVR to view your IP cameras, but that is, I think that should be a lesson for another day. So there are different ways you can use uh, another machine, maybe like the DVR to view your IP cameras. But like I said, it's going to be a lesson for another time. Now, another benefit of uh, using IP address is, uh, is that it's flexible, like it's advisable. Uh, maybe you're working for a very big company that need lots of cameras. It's advisable you go for IP cameras. Let me assume something like a university, a big firm, okay? Some place that have a wide uh, 
a wider environment that need uh, communication uh, within the cameras. It's advisable you go for IP cameras, okay? So it's flexible, it lasts more, and uh, you can view each camera, like I said. You can log into a particular camera directly without you even logging into the DVR. What you just need to know is the IP address of that particular camera you want to see, okay? So I can use either my PC, that is my personal computer, to view my camera from any place. I can use uh, even my phone to view any of my IP camera from any place as long as we are in the same network, okay? So IP camera is very flexible and uh, it's very advisable. Whenever you are doing a very big project, you should go for IP cameras, okay, because of uh, the flexibility, uh, flexibility. So like I said, you can, you can configure your IP camera using an MVR. You can configure it using a DVR. You can also view it using your PC. You can also view it using your tablet or maybe your mobile phone. So all these configurations, 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 we'll be seeing it in my later episode. Okay, guys, that is all about uh, the introduction of these cameras. There are many things about this IP camera that I did not still say in this video, but at least I've mentioned some of the most important things that uh, these IP cameras have, okay? But like I said, there are other many things that IP camera have or the futures of IP camera that I did not mention in this video. Maybe my upcoming video, if I remember any of them, I will say it uh in the video also now somebody may ask so what do you advise should we go for analog camera or should we go for ip camera now the choice is yours like i said if you are working in a very uh in a very big place maybe you have a big project just go for ip camera if you have maybe your home you want to install camera you can go for analog camera but if you still have money to install IP camera, it's very advisable. They are quite expensive, but like I said, they are flexible and uh, everything about them is just awesome. Okay, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you have been enjoying my video. And if there's any question, any query, anything you really need to know about most of these things I'm saying on my video, don't forget to comment on the comment section below. So our social media handles are, are in the description below. The WhatsApp group link is there. The Facebook link is there. If there is anything at all you want me to do for you, either personal or maybe you want uh, to join the group to see how experts and other installers relate to questions and installation, please don't forget to join the groups. And uh, please like my videos. If you are enjoying it, subscribe and comment. Thank you so much and see you guys as we progress in this IP camera.